the entire session would be structured as below. <coughs> we will first understand what is depreciation, meaning we will define depreciation. Next, we will go on to understand why we depreciate, what is the need for depreciation, what are basically the objectives of depreciation. When? When do you commence? When do we commence depreciation? How is depreciation measured? There are different, different methods of measuring depreciation, of computing depreciation. And we will discuss a few of the accepted methods of computing depreciation. Next, how is depreciation accounted for? There are basically two methods of accounting for a depreciation. One is by creating an accumulated depreciation account. And the other is without the accumulated depreciation account where the asset value is reduced. <clears throat> Next, we will go on to see once we have adopted a method, can we change to another method? When can we change? Why do we change? And what are the disclosures we need to do? What are the accounting entries we need to pass in case there is a change of method? In case there is a change from one method to the other. Revision of estimates, depreciation involves some certain estimates like the life of an asset. We may think we will use a machinery for 5 years. It is quite possible that we use the machinery for 7 years. It is quite possible that we are able to use it for only 4 years. So there is an estimate, an element of estimation involved and it is possible that after a few years, after a period of time, we need to revise these estimates. What happens when there is a revision of such estimates? We shall discuss. As also, revaluation of depreciable assets. We may revalue our assets after a period of time. In that case, what, are, what is the accounting treatment? Also, a small topic, provision for repairs and renewals. When we create such a provision account, why do we create? And the accounting entries involved.